cannot smoke, drive, drink, have sex, vote, or die for this country. And it is because the law says they lack the capacity to understand those decisions. And that applies here more than ever. Hear me loud and hear me well. We will not be morphing our school campuses into COVID vaccine centers for delivery of an experimental medical protocol that killed every damned ferret in the last animal study they did until such time they had to abandon that study. And then, and then they didn't even do the study this time around because we are the study. The last time humans launched a plan like this to conduct experimental medical protocols on vulnerable populations was in Joseph Mengele's direction. He was an MD known as the, the angel of death. Okay, And he was part of the SS, and in 1943, he was assigned to Auschwitz, where he saw an opportunity to conduct gene research, quote, focused primarily on children with no regard for the health or safety of the victims. This is off the Internet. You can Google it. You know what else is gene research? Experimental COVID vaccines with the trans gene inside of it. If you don't believe me, go pull the EUA application for the J&J &J shot. I come from a long line of Eastern Europeans, Hungarians, and Romanian groups, groups that fled the persecution of the Red Terror Communist death squads in the early 1900s, and those of us who didn't make it to America ended up facing the Nazi death squads in the lesser-known Holocaust that was the Romani Holocaust. There is a reason my daughter is named Katia. Her Romani great-grandmother was Katarina Choma, and I, for one, have not forgotten the lessons of our history. The Third Reich did not end with experiments on children, nor when those children died. The Third Reich ended! In 1946, when we put the doctors who committed these human experiments on trial in Nuremberg, and then we put them to death, it ended with the adoption of the Nuremberg Code, so we would never repeat the sins of history. And it states, and I quote, the voluntary consent of this human subject is absolutely essential. Dr. Chow and Dr. Maharish, you are hereby on notice. Last week, you appear, appear to have knowingly hatched a plan to sidestep and or violate international, federal, and state law, not just the Nuremberg informed consent language, but also the black letter law of the EUA, as well as California state law, which punishes, and I quote, the willful failure to obtain a subject's informed consent by imprisonment in county jail for one year or the imposition of a $50,000 fine or both. Through the planned insertion of experimental gene-altering protocols onto the very children, you were elected and charged with protecting. And tonight we are asking the Board of Education for an immediate letter of censure to these individuals. And if they don't resign, for an immediate notice of termination. You and that letter also up. needs to go to the professional boards because they have no business being in these positions. So help me God, the people of Orange County will hold this policy to account. Your time